Hello everyone, I am Xiang Yuchen from Shenzhen Institute of Advanced Technology, Chinese Academy of Sciences. Here I will present our work, A New Journey from SDR TV to HDR TV. At the beginning, I introduce our motivation about this work. First, televisions supporting high dynamic range standards have become prevalent in daily life. However, there is a lack of original HDR resources. Second, conversion from SDR TV to HDR TV is a practical and present problem, but received little attention in the research community. Third, the existing solutions lack in-depth analysis of this task, and the results of these methods are not satisfactory. In our work, we conduct a detailed analysis for this task. Different from the previous widely studied LDR to HDR methods that aim at predicting the HDR luminance map in linear domain, this task is to predict HDR content in nonlinear domain on the HDR standard. We give a simplified formation pipeline for these two things based on camera ISP and HDR TV content production. The pipeline consists of four key operations as shown in the figure. SDR and HDR content are encoded in different standards. Here we can see SDR TV to HDR TV is more like an image to image translation task rather than an inverse degradation problem. Existing image to image translation and joint super resolution with inverse to mapping methods learn a direct mapping with an end to end model to solve this problem. LDR to HDR methods require extra operations to get HDR TV content after the HDR radiance or luminance map is obtained. Based on the above analysis of the formation pipeline, we design a three step solution pipeline including adaptive global color mapping, local enhancement, and highlight generation. In this page, we present the overall architecture of our proposed method. We design a lightweight network for adaptive global color mapping, a ResNet style network for local enhancement, and a gun based network for highlight generation. The highlight of our approach is a part of AGCM. The network consists of a base network to learn the global color mapping and a condition network extracting image prior from the global statistics to adaptively modulate the base network. It is not worth saying that the kernel size of all layers is 1 multiply 1. Therefore, this network is extremely lightweight. Here we provide comprehensive quantitative results. Our method achieves the best performance with fewer pyramids. We also pro present results of viral comparison. We can see that our approach obtains the best viral quality with the closest color to the ground truth and the most no artifacts. More experiments are conducted to verify the effectiveness and the superiority of our method. Here is a color transition test. We can see that most existing methods produce obvious artifacts in the color transition regions. In contrast, our method can produce results with smooth transition. In this experiment, each 3D lot is generated by putting the input SDR colors in the position of the mapped values in HDR domain. It reflects the distribution of SDR colors of the input in the HDR domain after the corresponding mapping. With the increase of the modules, the color distribution becomes denser and the viral quality also becomes better. We also conduct an experiment to observe the effect of the condition network by giving different conditional inputs. We can see that different conditional inputs significantly change the manifold of the SDR to HDR LUT. In the last part, we give more evidences to prove the effectiveness and the necessity of the AGCM. We compare the performance with and without AGCM. A ResNet style network and a small network with only three convolution layers with a kernel size of 3 multiplied 3 are used as a LE network. We can see that the step of AGCM significantly improves the performance not only in quantitative metrics but also in visual quality. Thanks for listening. Links of our paper and the code are provided at the bottom left and we also provide a link of our group.